Hi, my name is Nick George with Clouds Diamond Sharpening. Just to show you an advanced Andis Pulse ZR repair. Um, please don't try to fix these if you never fixed anything. Um, it's not going to be very easy. Um, but, so, check all the speeds at work. So, so, we're just going to go down to the table and see what's wrong with it. Estimate it and see if they want to repair it. we got to get this thing running great again. Okay, so first we're going to estimate this clipper. Um, we'll turn it on. Turns on every time. Um, we'll check the speeds. All the speeds work. Um, then we're going to go down here. And the first thing I noticed, this is the latch. It locks the blade and the hook's missing. So it's not going to lock the blade anymore. And this feels kind of weak. And it looks damaged on the edges, so the blade might rattle. So I'm going to go ahead and replace this and this. And we're going to pop this off. And then we look at the edges here. This is not too bad, but they said they haven't got it serviced in a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace this because it's coming up a little on the sides and then it has a little wobble room. See how it's wobbling? That, that might leave lines a little bit. It's not too bad and I'm gonna give him this piece back because he would use it in a, a backup situation, but he just wants it working like new again. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace this. So this is a Phillips. It'll take off these screws on the drive there. And this is a T8. Uh, um, I don't know what that's called. But anyway, it'll take that off. Okay, so for video purposes, I'm going to use a bit in my drill to get this done. I'm just taking out the four screws. Uh, we're gonna try to see if it comes apart, and it does. This is the battery pack. Um, it runs the clipper, of course. This is a typical, uh, looks like a SMC motor. I uh, took off the hinge because it'll have to be taken off. See, this is uh, the broken part. Uh, I got the parts ready here. This is a new one. So see, it's all connected. Uh, and then it latches and... Okay, so I take this off. The drive, the blade drive. And then you check this bearing. And his bearing is locked up. So that could be a problem. Yeah, you can't move it at all. So what that's going to do is it's going to melt the inside of this and then we're going to have problems and it's going to be noisier. So what I'm going to do is unlock this. Um, let me get some tools. So I can tell the problem is this hair. I mean, it's just full. Um, so what I'm going to do is try to cut it out. Just cut it into pieces. See, it already broke free a little bit. This don't always work, and sometimes you got to replace the motor, but this motor is probably a $50 piece, and I want to try to save my customers as much as I can. So we're going to try to get this working. And if I can break this free and get it working, how this happened is because this is completely dry. I can see in there, there's nothing. So you gotta put clipper blade lube inside of this. So this drive will need to be replaced. I can see the wear in on the edges here. But you want it like this, so then it catches the hair instead of going into, into the bearing. And it makes the bearing not cause so much friction and get hot. Maybe this bearing is not fixable, we'll find out. And I'm gonna try to break it free, and if I can, which it is moving with the hair, so you can see it moving now. So we'll try. So I uh, got some Andis clipper blade oil, very good. Oster, Wall, they all work the same. Um, and I'm gonna put some oil in this. 
you shouldn't have to do this because the loop should protect it but I mean this thing is locked up so if I can break it free which it's moving um, might take a little bit mm. get some wires here Some needle nose, be careful, you'll break the bearing. But if I can get this to rotate once, then I can blow that hair out of it because it'll break the strings of hair that are binding it. And it'll run good. So now it is fully rotating. these is they're different than AGC because uh, you can't replace this bearing you have to replace the whole motor but that's good to know these are sealed motors anyway so when they go bad you just gotta replace them but that is spinning good so that's good a little more oil put a little love There we go. So most of the hair's out of there. I'm gonna try to cut the rest out. So that's fixed. We're going to move on. Okay, so I went a little more in depth here and got every piece of hair out of there. I mean, this thing is spinning like spinners on your car. <laughs> so now we're going to put this back together and uh, I would like to show everybody. See, a brand new drive even has glue in it. It's there for a reason. So we'll put this drive on. It really doesn't matter what order you put this thing back together in, but since I'm talking about the drive, we'll just do the drive. So you want to make sure these ears go in there. Um, this is an advanced repair, and please do this at your own risk. Uh, I wouldn't recommend taking this apart if you've never done it before, um, or if you have no experience doing it. Um, see? Could have messed that up right there. So put that in correct, put this back together, get that little piece of hair out of there. What I mean by that, just make it smash down a little bit, you over tighten it and you're going to have tr problems. So you can't stop that thing. I'll go ahead and put a little more in there. Here it being quieter. Now it sounds nice. Put your keeper on there. Uh, it separates it from this lever so it doesn't rub it so hard and holds this up so it latches. Without this keeper, you're gonna have problems. Okay, so we'll put this hinge on here. It holds the blade onto the clipper. Once 
Once again, don't over tighten anything. If you feel it stop, it's good enough. Pop the hinge up so you can snap the blade on, don't stab yourself. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put a pad here. Let me get it. Okay, so this is another reason it had hair in it. This is supposed to be in here. Um, this little sponge protects the hair from getting in this drive. You don't want it in that bearing. we just seen that. Now we'll try it with a blade. It should be really quiet. And it is. So that's really good. It latches. Uh, to disengage, push that button. And all the speeds work. Thank you for this wonderful adventure. I'll see y'all next time.